Hello, my name is Jeremy Elder. I'm a senior product designer on GitLab's front-end UX foundations team. And today I was just going to be demoing uh, how we organize components in Figma, uh, specifically the, the like the visual UI kit uh, portion of it, and uh, more specifically demoing the new component variants feature that Figma just uh, released and showing how we're migrating some of our components to make use of that so that it's easier for designers to use. Um, another benefit of this is that in use, it's, it's in practice, it's actually going to mirror what we have in Storybook. So uh, we use Storybook with our view components and you can see over here we have a badge and we have different variants that are available, different sizes, and we're going to be able to now mirror that in, in an actual use case in Figma. And I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, just to take a quick look, high level at how we organize items, we have a base, variants, and instances. And this is uh, this variance here, we'll, we'll get rid of that in a, in a little bit, but this is how we've traditionally organized it so that in the assets panel, if you go to button, for example, button variants, you see all the different options. Uh, the naming was using page and frame and uh, layer name to help cascade that for the, the layers panel. Our goal will be to, to greatly clean this up. Uh, you can see right now badge. I've got a little bit of, of pre-work that I've done, so it doesn't organize it into subfolders anymore. Uh, but you can see there's tons of options there, and we're going to eliminate that down to just a single one, and I'll show you how we do that. Uh, so first I want to start with base. We use base components just as foundation for the rest of ours uh, that we build out. So in other words, it makes it a lot easier to just change properties globally and have it cascade and propagate throughout. So if I took this medium badge, for example, and I said, okay, this uh, border radius, we're going to go a little more angular. I'm going to make that four. You can see how that propagates through all of these that are based on that. You can see I do, I do have a little bit of naming pre-done in here. Uh, and just a, a note about that, if, if you want, there is a Figma Variance Playground file that uh, I'll post a link to. But you can also go through that in Figma and they'll give you some more, more details about the naming that happens uh, when you use the new component variance feature. And in this case, uh, there's there's key value pairs for the base components. There's only only two sets the type uh, Which we have default or a pipeline badge and then the size when we have three sizes So let's just jump right into this uh, This is how it's organized today. It's a separate frame. I'm gonna actually just select these three uh, these six Base components. You see I've got this new option over here this button I'm gonna click that combine this variance you can see already what happened in these key value pairs is it created a type and a size. And we can actually organize these now by the order we want them to appear in a, in a drop down menu. And so it's the, the benefit of this is now that uh, we have this, it, it'll propagate also that naming throughout. So I'm just going to name this as our naming convention. Let's do base badge. The underscore at the front means that this will not be published to the library. Uh, it also helps you just kind of prefix that and treat it a little differently. I'm going to move this out of the out of that base frame now and just position it here for now. Uh, we don't need that extra structure anymore from those that those frames created because of the new way that uh, these components are wrapped together. So you can see over here in variants we have many many options in here uh, and and as like I mentioned today the cascade variants you'd find a folder in the assets panel variants under that you would find neutral muted under that you'd find the sizes and so we're, we're going to be eliminating that and making it really easy to use uh, and, and just as an example quick I guess it would be helpful uh, to show something that I've done already uh, let's see here I'll pull up the assets panel and if I choose, uh, well, let's do just accordion, for example. We'll drag that over. You can see here in my properties panel, I've got the accordion, and I've got these simple capabilities now. I could do expanded collapse. That's changing the different variants that are associated with that component. And so I'll be able to do something similar with these 
and uh, make it easier at point of use. All right. So you can see right now, it's current state. I've got all these things grouped. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to drop the auto layout in here. Ungroup all of these. Let's ungroup them all again. So we got down to the single layers here. You can see I've got all my symbols. Now with, with our badges, we have two variants that are or two, I should say, categories that I do want to keep separate. One is for pipeline and the other is for just our default badges. Uh, and so we'll, we'll handle those separately. I, I think it was in this case, it makes sense to keep them apart because if we look at key value pairs, they should match all the way through. So every one of these can have icon, true, false. It can have a type and it can have a size. If we jump over here, we can see that the icon is always persistent. And then instead of a type, we have more of this uh, not found, created, skipped. So it's a little bit different uh, in, in that sense and in the way we present those. And so to not confuse the two, I think it's helpful to, to keep them separate. So I'm going to start uh, with is selecting all of these default variants. Go ahead, combine them. And you can see now that I have category or a, a key value pair for type and all the options for size and all the options and icon true false which is binary which creates that toggle which I'll show in a minute uh, what I want to do first is I actually want to rename this to variant and that'll match our knobs in storybook and it'll, it'll make a little more sense here in a second when I show how you use this uh, another thing I want to do is I want to order these based on the hierarchy that I've defined visually so I'm going to start with neutral muted, neutral, get that moved around. All right, info, success, warning, and danger. Sizes, same. We'll start with small, medium, large. And icon, I like to start with uh, true, then false. So right now, if I was to go to the assets panel, and if we look at badge, you see, I've still got this variance frame here, and that's why we're going to delete that in a minute. You see, I've got component one. That's what all of these are represented by. Uh, so if I go over to layers, I actually want to click on this here. I'm just going to call this uh, badge. All right, now if I go to assets panel, I'll see badge here. There's only one item. And so uh, let's just go over to a empty spot here. What happens when I drag this now onto my design as you can see I have this option to say okay it's a badge here what's the variant what's the size what's is there an icon yes or no and I can start really quickly playing with these properties and, sw and swapping out and you can see how fast that is to make changes it's it's uh, pretty awesome so that one's taken care of as far as that group now let's go ahead and uh, do the same with our pipeline. We'll select them all, combine as variants. Again, we've got these options that we're going to reorder. A little more uh, tedious here. There's just a few more options. Let's see here. Not found, created, skipped, manual, canceled, pardon me while I move through all these okay yeah, I'm going to just change that to variant I'm going to rename this to I'm just going to call this pipeline badge so if I go to my assets panel and you can see I only have two options now so we took a list of almost a hundred down to two if I throw a pipeline badge on here, you could see uh, that I can very easily say, oh, you know, it's this is the, the variant and then sizing, etc. So very useful. But now you see that I still have this variance uh, extra layer here. So we're going to go ahead and, and go back and get rid of that. And the way I'm going to do that is simply to take these out of my uh, frame. I'll just organize them over here. 
uh, a key thing to point out through this whole process, nothing has changed in my actual instances. So there are no visual changes. Really, this is a, a lot of stuff under the hood that changed organization uh, so that at point of use it becomes easier. But it hasn't changed any of the presentation or existing components that I've used. So it should be safe updating your library and bringing in the changes, but uh, mileage may vary on that one. So you always want to do a, a test first if possible. So that really kind of sums up everything with this new organization. It shows that uh, with with pajamas and specifically the UI kit, we have base components that help define more global items and properties that can propagate through different variants. And those variants now are grouped and have different key value uh, mappings and, and pairings so that we can quickly uh, use those and make them more discoverable at point of use, but also we can align closer to what we're doing with uh, uh, with Storybook, and, and I think that that's really helpful. And I think uh, that is it for the demo. If you have any questions, post them, uh, ask us on on Twitter, or uh, uh, you can even comment in uh, our Figma files. Thanks for watching.